Jesus Reigns TV. Colonizing, dominating, and impacting nations with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. If this generation is to believe, they should know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Family, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord make his face shine upon your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I believe that God is about to do amazing things in your life, the things that you have never spoken about. God says, before they call, I will hear. While yet they pray, he said, I will answer. So I believe that God is actually speaking in advance, hearing you in advance and doing greater things in your life. And I want to encourage you, don't forget to register for our Christmas carol service that's going to be on the 15th of December. It's a worship service, very wonderful service like never before. Make sure that you register right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, family, I want to speak to you about the opportunity that God has made for us in this season. Let's go to the book of Isaiah number 16. Isaiah number 16. The Bible says, Arise, Jerusalem, let your light shine for all to see. For the glory of the Lord rises to shine on you. The darkness as black as night covers all the nations of the earth. But the glory of God rises and appears over you. All nations will come to your light. Mighty kings will come to see your radiance. Look and see for everyone is coming home. Your sons are coming from a distant land. Your little daughters will be carried home. Your eyes will shine and your heart will thrill with joy. For merchants from around the world will come to you. They will bring you the wealth of many lands. Vast caravans of camels will converge on you. The camels of Midian and Ephra. The people of Sheba will bring gold and frankincense and will come worshipping the Lord. Now, this is an LT, obviously, demonstrating the simplicity that the message at the time being communicated to Jerusalem. But I like it in the King James saying that, Arise and shine, your light has come. Now that is plural to all of us, speaking to them that are actually the beneficiaries of the scripture. Saying, arise and shine, for your light has come. Now family, this simply becomes a call that to the one who has been given the light, they have to arise because the arrival of the light that they carry has come. So not only are they going to arise, but the Bible says they will shine. Now family, one of the things that when we read this scripture, we don't realize that not only are we being told about the arrival of the light, the rising of the, of, of the one who actually has the light, but we are also being told about the circumstances in which the glory of the Lord will be upon his people. So for the glory of the Father has risen upon you. Then suddenly we are told darkness will cover the earth and deep darkness will cover the people. 
So meaning the instruction of arising and shining is not coming frivolously. It's coming as an instruction because of the presence of darkness over the nations of the earth then God is calling that one that he has anointed, that one that he has called. And he said, Arise and shine, for your light have come. So meaning that in the time where the nations of the world are filled with darkness, in the time when the nations of the world are actually confused and filled with every level of darkness, God is making a call to them that love him. He said, arise and shine. Arise and shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. God did not just give a light, but he gave you the light in the presence of the darkness. So meaning that you who carries the light, you should know that your light does not come without darkness. That there ought to be darkness that surrounded the earth so that your light might begin to shine. Family, what God is going to do in our lives in this season, it is not without darkness. It's going to happen in the presence of darkness. It's going to happen when the nations are filled with darkness, the people with darkness. Then the glory of the Lord will simply arise upon us and immediately we will see the kings of the earth coming to the brightness of us shining. What we're about to experience is unique. What we're about to experience is different. We're about to see the light of the Father, the glory of Jehovah Shalom, the glory of Jehovah Onyekesa shining in the presence of darkness in the world. God is calling you that at the time of collapsing of economies, at the time of collapsing of governments, at the time of collapsings of the systems of the earth, God is saying this is the opportunity for you to arise. This is the opportunity for you to know that this is not an end for you, but a beginning of the rising anointing and power that which God had given unto thee. Arise and shine, your light has come. The glory of the Father has risen upon you, and indeed darkness covered the earth, and deep darkness the people, but the light of the Lord is shining. Are you filled with darkness? Is the darkness filling your home? It is the time for you to arise. Because the anointing of God that is upon you, it is attracted by the darkness. Because the darkness is an opportunity for the light to be manifested. For the light to be shown. Are you in a financial crisis? Arise and shine. For this financial problem, it's going to bring about that solution. It's bringing about what God had actually invested in you. For out of thy belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Family, you can arise from your situation. You can arise from your infirmity. You can arise from your pain. You can arise from every circumstance that you're finding yourself in. For the Father has made it clear. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. I don't know what you're going through. But I see the glory of God all over you. I see the glory of the Father shining over your destiny. 
I see the glory of the Father shining in the midst of your pain, shining upon you in the midst of the circumstances that you are facing. The glory of the Father is shining upon you in every situation. I'm here to say to you that circumstance is an opportunity for you to arise. You can arise from your depression. You can arise from every circumstance, sickness that you are facing. You can arise. The light of the Lord is illuminating you. Why not arise? For the glory of the Father has come. Family, we see the glory of God in this day and age. We're seeing the glory of the Father arising in the midst of all these circumstances. The sons of light will arise. You are the son of light. I want to pray for God to give you this courage to understand. You are what the world is needing right now. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. You are the city that is upon a hill. You cannot be hidden. You are exactly what is needed. It's time for you to arise. It's time for you to shine. The light of the Father is upon you. Lift your hands to the Lord. Father, I thank you. Making them to arise and shine. In the midst of all troubles, in the midst of all circumstances. Their destinies and their lives are shining. By the glory of God by the glory of the Father. For indeed, in the midst of darkness that covers the earth, I see them shining by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' name. Now, family, God has given you the opportunity to arise. Take your darkness as an opportunity. Take your darkness as a call that now the time to arise has arrived and your light will shine. I love you. The Lord Jesus loves you. The best is on the way. Remember, my name is Yamgela Joseph and this is Jesus Reigns TV. Till I see you next time. Shalom, shalom. Men anointed by God for such a time as this, proclaiming the decrees of heaven and announcing the seasons of God among man. A man aligned with the calendar of heaven. A prophet with an attitude of a servant, a father with a heart of son, a voice of prophecy in this generation.